Hey YouTube, this is Chris again with another one of Tim and Chris's how-to videos. So today I'm going to show you how to take an image out of the picture and make an almost seamless background in place. So, let's get started. Alright, so let's start from scratch here. I'm going to delete this layer. And now we have our main image here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut this subject out here and this little portion down here and we're going to replace it with a similar background. And we're going to do this um, by using the pen tool. So go over to the pen tool and click on that. And we're going to start about up here right above their heads. Just click and click and now we're just going to follow the curves around you can bend this tool around and this is a really cool tool to use it's a bit intimidating at first but once you learn it you'll you'll be using this all the time because it's really precise and it really does a good job and so we'll just cut this individual out here Put a little curve on it. Now, if, I'm, if you want to change the direction of those little handles, you hold the Alt key down and grab the little handle, and you can just move that around wherever you'd like. And I'm just going to be kind of quick just for the video here. Let me grab this handle. And put it about there. Like I said, don't be intimidated by this tool. It's a really cool tool to use. Okay, so now once we've cut the basic outline to separate these two individuals, we're going to finish it off by just clicking anywhere and going right around this subject here. And then you'll see, when I hover over, you'll see a little circle there. That means it's going to close that out. Now let's get this section down here. Put a pin tool. Put a little curve on there. Down here. And almost done. Alright, and that looks pretty good. Now what we need to do is we need to right click in the selected area. You don't have to do this to both areas, it's going to do it for everything. And then click on make selection. And you want your, your feathered feather radius to be about 0.5. Click OK. Now what this does is it's going to allow you to make changes only in this space. All the, the, the space on outside of it will not be affected. So now we're going to use the clone stamp tool, which is another really cool tool, and I'm going to show you how to use that right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to sample many different spots in this background to place over top of this subject here. So let's just start up here with some greenery, and what we're going to do is we're going to hold the Alt key down. And when I do that, you're going to see this change into like a little crosshairs or something. And left click one time. And it's going to sample that area. And we have a little preview of what it's going to look like. Like If I click on this guy here, it's not going to do anything. Because it's outside of the selection. But if I click on her, it's going to put that right over top. Now the reason we want to sample in different areas is because you don't want the exact same. You can see this dark area here and this dark area here. And it just looks too similar. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sample from many different areas so we can get a nice look here. I'm going to sample from up here, paint a little bit down there, maybe get some rocks over here, some greenery, and we're just going to make this look like the background was there all the time. I'm going to get some rocks and just cover her up. A little bit more, maybe some greenery. Alright, and then we're going to take care of this 
part down here and we'll just get some of these rocks to start out and maybe some green to finish it off uh, just like that and that looks pretty good now we're gonna we're gonna deselect this by holding control and clicking D or command and D if you're on a Mac and that's gonna deselect that and that looks pretty good it looks like that background was supposed to be there the whole time now what we're going to do is we're just going to enhance this image just a little bit. And we're going to go to our adjustment layer. We're going to click on that. We're going to click on curves. What we're going to do with curves, we're just going to bring this down in the middle. Just bring it down just a little bit. We don't need it too much because if you enhance, you know, if you go a little too much, it just doesn't look right. So we're just going to enhance it just a little bit here. Not much and that looks pretty good but now you can see this looks a little bit darker and I want that a little lighter so let's put a layer mask on that and we're gonna go down here to this layer mask tool click on that and we can see here that it's white and and we want a black foreground color we're gonna take our brush tool and we're gonna have a soft brush with a flow of about 53 percent that's fine now I'm just going to paint over these areas that are a little darker and it's going to lighten that back up. Some areas here, some areas here, and it's really subtle. And that's what we want. And there you have it. I hope you like this video. I mean, I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe and comment if you like. Thanks for watching.